inside a Sinter, a Land Rover Jaguar, and I just bought this little puppy for my Range Rover. Uh, can't really complain because um, the Range Rover has been going now for probably over a year and that is all I've done to it, one brake pipe. And you can't argue with that. And now we're off to my favorite place, Shapecraft. He's made me um, a glove compartment for the wrong side on the Jeep. So as I've got to kind of a right-handed Jeep with a left-handed glove compartment. And how cool will that be? Let's go and see Clive. Here we are, Shapecraft. I love looking around this place. They've always been beating something with a big hammer. Oh, let's turn my car off. Let's turn it off just for a laugh. What have you been beating with a big hammer today? <laughs> this is Clive, he's the man. And that's some of his work. Are you going to have backlights on this or is it going to do this completely... Oh. Are they going to be recessed? I saw some recessed ones. Yeah. I saw one at a show looking like that and it looked awesome. That was some sort of Aston kind of reinvented. Yeah, I do as well. Look at that. Yeah, aggressive looking like teeth. Yeah. That's going to need a bit of... Um, that could be on the tank, couldn't it? It could, yeah. Uh, it, 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 a, bit, a bit of work in the boots got to be done, isn't it? The new chassis. Let's go and have a look at the new chassis. Show us around, Clive. I like it. DB4 Segato. And I guess this is so you can get all the right angles and everything. Super Leggero. Powder coat even. If only they could powder coat them a million years ago when they made them. They wouldn't be all rusty. Powder coating gets in everywhere. Very cool. And that's the V8 over there, I think. Let's go and have a look. It's a special Yeah, special bonnet. So it's kind of Aston Martin style. A bit like the scoop on my V8, but um, yeah, just a one off. Beautiful. Beautiful. What's your next project after the Zagato? Going up the top. Uh, Know, yeah. Something outrageous. Hopefully, just waiting for some Mr. Big to come along. A tank <laughs> with an aluminium body for high speed. Yeah. That is the glove compartment lid out of my uh, track Jeep. And this is how it should have been. It should have been a left handed one because I've got a right handed Jeep. These are very, very rare. In fact, it's the only one. And Clive made it with his bare hands and probably his teeth as well, getting the corners done. But I'm very, very pleased with that. And if it's under a thousand pound, I'll be really chuffed. And uh, one way, one way or another, that's going on my Jeep today. Uh, Mr. Elon Musk's Tesla, and um, it's not very good at distinguishing tanks from cars. And um, as I drive through my yard, that's what we're really looking at, and that's what it's showing you. I've got to be careful in case I crash, because me, my life wouldn't be worth living. There you go, you see, it's just not very good. Um, it's very good at traffic cones, but it doesn't know the difference between a lorry and a tank. Well, that's no good, is it? I hope he's not selling any in Ukraine. He doesn't have a hearse either. Yeah, there's a hearse. Golf GTI, you just don't get top of the tree more than that, do you? It's a beauty. But it's been a bad girl, hasn't it? It's been a bastard. And yeah. a bastard like that needs to be run over slowly. So I'm looking for a crusher that's not just going to go bash over it. They're going to savour the moment. Literally savour the moment and just crunch along with the windows popping one by one. <laughs> and this will be on Facebook probably within a week. Yeah, so you'll see yeah, it on our channel. Yeah, yeah. And you can gloat. You can, you can gloat it. over it. You can dance on its grave if you like. We're using the Tesla today. Um, I, I would use it more, but sometimes I can't find it if Kate's parked it under a tree, for obvious reasons. But a wonderful towing vehicle, a Tesla. Bags and bags and bags of power. Never gets hot, you don't have to change gear. I love it. It's the end. Scott's car, shared with his missus. Was it a loved car? <laughs> yeah. Was it loved? Or was it kind of a hated? Yes, a workhorse. Well, his last job would be to put a smile on someone's face when we drag it up the road with the Tesla. Well, uh, we're getting a bit late and I've done a few good jobs and today is going to be the glove box lid night. I do believe, if I've lost it already, have I lost it? Oh, I can't have lost it. Anyway, it's knocking around somewhere. But uh, I've got to cut all this out and kind of make it in the style of and um, things are going quite well. 
And I thought, if I'm out here, I can't be in-house eating. Somebody, somebody said I look like Rasby Nesbitt um, at the show in the army T-shirt. So, uh, well, that was nice, wasn't it? So I've decided a crash diet, um, no more fattening shit, and um, just healthy foods. Or no food. Simple as that. It's coming on well. Um, I'm not sure what to do about in here because it's only been kind of a light coat of red oxide and I'm not taking all that out to do it in green. I really aren't. But uh, most of this will have to be stripped out because I'm sure this is just emulsion. I'm sure it's just emulsion. Look, I can take it off with my nail. So if I paint over the top of that, it's going to be a recipe for rust. We can't have it going rusty and I haven't really got room to keep it inside. Not, um, not until we have something built and we're, uh, we're in the planning. Well, things are progressing. I've um, torn the back cover off the MVT magazine and I've made this little template. Actually, that's the wrong end. I've made this little template and with a little bit of luck, that will just, and a folding machine I bought the other day, I can just fold that bit in and it could be the base of my uh, cubby. Basically, that's gonna have to be welded on that end and that's gonna be welded on that end like that. And then I can start thinking about the hinge and the lid, and it's got to have a lip going all the way around here that kind of sticks out a bit, just a little bit proud. That stops rain running in the back, it goes around like a channel. And it's got to be right, it's got to be right. Um, yeah, well there's me bit, I've chopped that out, and now it's a matter of folding it and grinding it and dicking around. I'm a bloody good dicker around. Ask anybody. Now it'll be easy to get this wrong. If I go that way and that goes up, I reckon, I reckon I'll be bending the wrong way. So it's got to go that way like that, I reckon, and it's got to be on about there, and it's got to be parallel. Let's loosen that. Right, when it comes to bending, I've known a few benders in my life, and um, I can do it with the best of them. Here we go, I think, about like that. I think. Now, the angle of dangle. That's the question. The angle of dangle. It's still a bit higher this end. They're Dan's, but you'll never know. There we go. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. There, is that enough? Or is it too much? Nobody knows. Uh, probably not enough. We'll go and look. Well, I've had a bit of a bending session and a bit of grinding and a bit of tinkering. And I reckon that that could be welded into there. And you'd never know. It wasn't a right hand drive Jeep. I reckon it'll work. Well, there's only one way to find out. It's not knackered, it's just well worn. Well, that's kind of there, isn't it? That is the bottom of that above. Well, after quite a lot of bashing and noshing about, I've cut that and I've done it at an angle. So as things will kind of tilt backwards. And that way, when I go over a bump, things won't fall out. And I'm hoping that'll go in there like, sort of like that. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. It's fouling something up this top corner. But um, yeah. In the style of. Well, I'm quite pleased with the result. Um, it's nice and, and it's quite deep, so I can get quite a lot of clobber in there. And it's a, a weld along there, so there'll probably be a little bit of a gap where water could get out. And it goes up there really nice. I think it's in the style of, but uh, I'll be honest with you, 
the Jeep, the monster Jeep I've got outside, uh, I could have learned a little bit from that, but I couldn't be asked going outside in the dark. It's 1.40 and I've had enough. Uh oh, it's raining and me, me seats will be soggy. Now, I think we're having some stuff delivered back from the show. Um, the duck came in uh, last night and this should be, uh, what would it be? The GPA Jeep and um, the little Stuart tank. No doubt Tom has got, I can hear something chugging. I can hear the melodic noise. Not a bad place to leave it. Peeking out, pointing out the gate. I quite like it there. No, I think it looks pretty good there. It is a funny little animal, isn't it? A weird little thing. No, no, I mean that, not not that. I mean that. Talking about me. <laughs> yeah. Woo, woo, woo. I think compared to Will Earlham, I'm a little thing. Oh, not quick enough. <laughs> oh, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. If he gets stuck, we're going to have to cut him in half, not the tank, because we're short on gas. Very nicely done. And that's handy there as well, isn't it? I've used that for getting on and getting out and all sorts, and that's been useful. Putting um, brochures on, it's all good. Right, the GPA Jeep. Would you like me to do this one? Go on, I don't know about this Jeep. It shouldn't be getting wet, should it, really? No, it shouldn't. No, it shouldn't be getting wet. No, it needs a cover. Yeah, it needs a It's a, spe it's a special it swimming Jeep that shouldn't get wet. I'm sure it'll be all right. I'm going to wait for it to drive, then I'm going to rub it over with a mixture of diesel and oil everywhere. So basically, I'm going to encase it in oily diesel. Right. right, here we go. Remember, reverse is where first should be. Here he goes. He's found the ignition. He's found the button on the floor you have to stamp on. Listen to that, it's a beauty. It will need a little bit of choke, I think. And Bosch! Bishity Bosch! Yes, it's all very nice. They have um, picked them up and delivered them back, all for free. And I believe they even put some fuel in them. Hey, you can't ask for more than that, can you? Looks like a frog, doesn't it? We should call it Kermit, I think. Pretty good. Yep, safely, safe and sound. He's landed. I'm back on the Jeep, and um, in the cold light of day, very nice. Now, I've got these little labels stuck on with a bit of double sided tape, and I'm going to drill all my holes, and then I'm going to put them on after I've painted it. But it's time to drill the holes, and then I'm going to have all this off. And I'm going to start looking. Somewhere under there, I reckon, is a couple of levers for low range and uh, four-wheel drive. Brooks working very hard on the Abbott. That's going to be on the Monty Day this Saturday. So, uh, 
yeah, there's quite a lot to do, but we're getting there. We don't know what we're doing. It's just common sense, isn't it, really? They put one of these digger things back together, the earth mover with it, and um, you now need to squash the tire, and we can get a rubber seal in, then they kind of hold it. Yeah, I think they're just going to move up anyway, because we can't lock them, can we? We can't lock them down. Yeah, you've got to squash the tire, really. I really want two 360 activators and push it down with the bucket. Without getting any mud in the seal. But what is impressive is our lovely little um, JCB logos. If anyone wants one, we've got 27. And as they come on the bar, I duty, I've got an MOD site that comes straight to us. They still smell of salt and sweat, but they are beautifully serviced up and everything working. And they're lovely. Get them in some very tight spaces. What we're doing, we just need to call them sense. It's not as common as you think it is. Hopefully, 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 we're going to squash the tire. That's the plan. Squash the tire. Okay, contact. Now, this is where we may need a bigger logo because these aren't very heavy. Ones. Oh, I think it's good. I think it's good. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Then we've got to push the middle one down as well. Maybe we'll have to put the wood on the middle one to push it down. Unless we can get this to drop. We've got this, this has got to drop. Give it a bit of a smack. Give it a little tickle. A jolly good tickle. Oh, look at that. Oh, poetry in motion. Poetry in what could possibly go wrong. You're going to have to get in from the back now, I'm afraid. Bit of rear entry. Bit that? of rear entry, Tom. <laughs> Bit of rear entry. Right up the bum, no harm done. Right, here we go. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting close. We can see the little ring now. Give that a bit of a tap there, Ash. Donk. We'll be back in a minute. That is exposed. Beautiful. Not too shabby, not too shabby. No vibration. No, you are mostly a digger driver. We needed a big hole for something special. Everybody loves a big hole. But um, it's secret, so I can't tell you about it. Uh, but what a beautiful machine. You don't get the actual idea of the size of this hole. with this old baby I can tell you it's not a Volvo I don't know why it's got Volvo and it's a Samsung got the trailer on and I'm looking for old cars we've got a few crushes and I haven't really got enough cars this one behind me what a little beauty slight bit of love rash on the front fender there but we don't care because it's gonna go under it so if you've got an old car like this uh, just about starts up and drags its ass onto the trailer, then that's even a bonus. Beautiful. Now, um, the legalities of doing that with a ratchet strap, well, I seem to be a ratchet strap short. I might go in and ask them in there if I can have another one, but it does seem to work. Beautiful. Good looking, good.
здесь